Hi, my name's Ian. I run the London Boiler Company. Um, I've also been the uh, plumbing and heating expert on programmes on uh, Channel 4, ITV. Uh, we've even been very fortunate enough to be involved with BBC Rogue Traders in the right way, BBC Watchdog, as the expert setting up the bad guys. Um, but I've decided to make a little video um, only because there's a lot of myths concerning the subject that I'm going to talk about very briefly. And what I'm going to say to you, if you're about to buy a new hot water cylinder or copper tank, call it whatever you want, or even an unvented cylinder, which works directly off the water mains, often called a Megaflow, which is just a trade name, it's just a brand. Um, this is what I wanted to say. If you're in the market for a conventional tank, do not buy a single coil tank. Always buy a solar tank. Now you're going to say, well, I don't want solar, I'm not going to have solar, I don't like solar, I live in a flat so I couldn't have solar. Yeah, for all of those reasons, it's not, it's not the reason. I'm not going to suggest you have solar at any point, but what I'm going to show you is that you can reduce your energy bills by having a solar tank, and here's how. So here's a standard tank. That could be a copper tank, it could be an unvented cylinder, heated by a gas boiler, or it could be an electric boiler, it could be an oil boiler. And what happens is your hot water, or your flow pipe, supplies hot water directly from the boiler, it comes up to the tank, it flies through this small coil here, and then it goes back to the boiler to be reheated, and the cycle begins again. Cold water comes in from the water main or from a loft tank, it passes over this coil, this very hot coil, gets heated up, and comes out as hot water. Everybody has that. It's the status quo, it's the norm. But what I'm gonna say is, if you want one of these, don't buy one, buy a solar one, and here's why. What's the difference between a regular a regular tank with one coil and a solar? The only difference is the number of coils. It has two coils. One coil for your gas boiler and a second coil for your solar. Well, you're not going to have solar. So all you do is the, the tank costs a little more and you literally connect up the flow pipe to coil one, as you would do originally, but then you extend it and take it through to coil two. And what you're actually doing is you are significantly improving or increasing the reheat time of the cylinder. Whereas it may have taken 30 minutes with one coil, by use, utilizing the second coil on top, you're getting much more heat into that hot water tank using the same heat load that was going from the boiler to it in the first place. So therefore, really heating the, the system up or the cylinder up quickly and therefore there's a there's a, a heat efficiency um, that is passed on to you so really really simple stuff don't go for a single coil always go for a twin coil forget solar use the solar coil and connect it up to your boiler and improve your efficiency if you want any any more advice we'd always be delighted to speak to you our phone number is 0208 829 82 that's 0208 829 8244. Thank you.